Hey guys, Mixed Media Girl here. So today we're doing another slinky pour. So people have asked that I try it with this slinky spread out and it took me a minute to figure out how to do that, but I got these little spray cans that are holding the sides, so that should work. So I'm gonna be pouring it over the middle here. I just have a 10 by 10 canvas under here. And I have a little leftover paint in my bowl and then I have my lowly Vefe mat under here as well. All materials will be in the description, so please check that out because it'll tell you exactly what I'm using other than this leftover paint because who knows. Okay, so this is Artist Loft Flow Acrylics White. And then I'm going to use a little bit of blue. Okay, and then we're going here with some yellow. These are all Artist Loft Flow Acrylics. All of my paints are mixed with Flow Troll and Water. And then I'm gonna use some red. So we're gonna have a pretty rainbowy painting here. Okay, I'm gonna get in here with some other colors. This is an Artist Loft Green. And then we have um, Arteza Metallic Pink. I love the Arteza Metallic colors. If you haven't tried them, you definitely, definitely should. And I also have Lowly Vefe bottles, which are great. I've been really enjoying those. A little more white that should be good okay do not forget to check the description for all materials so here we go the theory i don't know the theory we're just gonna pour i do not have like a specific master plan <laughs> not a scientist i just am gonna have fun with this the last slinky pour i did came out a little too um muddy the colors mixed a lot i still loved how it came out but this looks like it's gonna mix a lot less so that's great that already looks really cool i feel like i should have kept it a little more centered than i did but that's okay i'm not gonna stress so i'm gonna pull up on this straight up in theory right Whee! <laughs> okay good. carefully set that to the side hopefully it doesn't smack me in the face in a minute and then I'm gonna go mostly straight back and forth here, I think. That's crazy, look at that. Crazy design. Um, yeah, let's go towards our corners. I like this method, this is fun. That was a good suggestion. So obviously the one person in the beginning suggested the slinky, which was just a great idea to begin with. And then since then, people have suggested different ways to try it out, which is awesome. So I love that. Keep those <laughs> ideas coming because they can result in some really cool new techniques. That this is like a pattern I don't know that I would have gotten any other way. Like I haven't really seen a pattern like this before. And really, look guys, there's like almost no blue in here. So you have to give me credit for that. <laughs> this is a very spring colored painting, yellows and pinks and greens with a, just a dash of blue. <laughs> all right, I'm gonna go ahead and make sure all my spots are covered. And we're pretty good actually. And we'll let this sit for a minute and come back and do our close up. Okay guys. So this is pretty awesome. I also love the little red cells that have kind of popped up through here, but this just looks like candy. Like it's exciting, very spring, very bright. I love the lines over here. Um, yeah, someone just sent me a technique that will create some really cool lines that I have to try, but if you guys know me, you know I love the lines. So this is super fun. Just could stare at this painting all day. Lots of really fun spots. All right, guys, so I hope you enjoyed this. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you all next time.